welcome to this week's photo diary from Desmond's Donors. We're in two places, Quarrel Wood just outside Elgin and the Alan Reed car park on the Glenlivet estate. Welcome to this week's Desmond's Donders photo diary. Why not join us on our Donders? Story of Stone and Wood. Quarrel Wood commands a hilltop position overlooking Elgin, the Morrie Firth and the surrounding countryside. There are old quarries scattered throughout the wood. You'll recognise the attractive yellow sandstone used in many local buildings. Some very rare fish and reptile fossils have been found in the quarry at Cutty's Hillock, including Elginia mirabilis, a spiny headed reptile about the size of a Labrador dog that roamed here long before the dinosaurs. You can see some of these fossils in the Elgin Museum. Quarrel Wood lies on the site of an ancient oak wood, now also planted with beeches and conifers. Its name may come from the quarrel or bolt fired by crossbows that were used when it was a hunting forest in medieval times. People were living here long before that though. Look out for the banks and ditches of a 4,000 old henge near the top of the hill. The mix of broadleaf and conifer woods here provides good habitats for a great variety of animals. Wood mice, red squirrels and many woodland birds make their home here too. Coltits, siskins, wrens and the drumming of the great spotted woodpecker. The hillock and complex of sandstone quarries are protected due to their geological status and the very rare fossils found there. Diary, 10th of July 2020, Quarrelwood. Lindsay has one last night of her shift and I dropped her at work and headed for an overnight at Quarrelwood, just outside Elgin. It's a small wood with trails, but I'm only here for the night to pick Lindsay up from work in the morning. I took a short walk around to take in the sights around the car park and watch the sun start to set. It's windy but clear. It's soon time for an early night, as I have to be up early to meet Lindsay from work. It rained heavily as I settled down to sleep. Alan Reed is a ruined farmsteading situated near the banks of the River Libet. It is depicted on maps as two unroofed buildings with an adjoining enclosure. It is the remains of a small farmstead, enclosure and longhouse situated on a southwest facing slope. There is a parking area at Alan Reed at the end of a minor road from near Tomnavulin which marks the start of a number of trails on the Glenlivet estate, in particular the Libet Path. Lying between the Ladder Hills and the Hol Cromdale Hills in the Cairngorms National Park, the two broad straths of the rivers Avon and Limit, Livet form the 23,000 hectare Glenlivet estate, part of the Crown Estate of Scotland. 
Nowhere in Glenlivet is lower than 200 metres. The area is remote and relatively isolated. But the soil is fertile and the slopes of the hills are gentle. So people have lived here and worked the land since prehistoric times. The estate encourages tourism and recreational use of the land. Eleventh of July, twenty twenty. Alan Reed. I was up at early o'clock to pick up Lindsay from work, and then we were off to our intended destination at Alan Reed in Glenlivet. The park up is quiet, and after breakfast, Lindsay heads off to get some sleep. I spend the morning birding and reading. Then the cricket starts on the radio. When Lindsay wakes, we have some lunch before setting out to explore. I put the HF antenna up as VHF etc is well out of play. More cricket follows and later I fly the drone as the wind drops off. We try a walk before settling down for the evening, but my legs are not playing. Lindsay goes on without me and I return to put the kettle on. We spend the rest of the evening watching the trees move in the breeze and listening to music. I have a dram and then that is another Donda day completed.
the 12th of July 2020. We're up and breakfasted and I try to listen on HF to the RSGB news. I did not manage it due to a contest on 40 metres and the poor conditions on 80 metres, not allowing any sort of contact. Lindsay went out to take photographs and I drank a cup of tea. The car park is busy today with walkers and cyclists and it is soon time for us to return home. With the HF antennas dropped and stowed, we pack up and head out, heading for home. Wildlife, a brown hare, white-tailed bumblebee, small white butterfly, ringlet, speckled wood, green-veined white butterfly, hoverfly, large heath, small tortoiseshell, red admiral. Birds, wood pigeon, carrion crow, pheasant, partridge, blackbird, jay, herring gull, starling, swallow, oyster catcher, rook, mallard, chaffinch, black headed gull, bullfinch, robin, goldcrest, willow warbler, wren, yellow hammer, magpie, grey wagtail, buzzard, swift, common gull, house martin, siskin, pied wagtail. Join us again on Friday for some more with video from the same spots. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.